Hey, what's happening there? Hat folks, G the Hat Guy here, back at you with another awesome hat video. All right, yeah, this is uh, another video that uh, I've been meaning to do for quite some time here. Just uh, the, the timing just didn't feel quite right yet until now. So, uh, but I should have had this video out for a while already. But basically, uh, you know, uh, depending on what types of uh, you know, hat crowns and shapes that you're familiar with, you know, pretty much there are several different types of hats and crowns, you know, for some of your trendy fashion type hats to your uh, country western style type hats, whatnot. And we're just going to go through uh, quite a bit of them today, whatnot. Uh, I'm sure, you know, there might be some other pieces out there that's kind of left out, but I'll just try to try to go through as much as possible. That's what we're going to be discussing. So the title of the video is... Uh, Hat Dents and Hat Creases Review. All right. It's Hat Dents and Hat Creases Review. That's what we're going to be discussing today. So let's get right into it. As you can see right in front of me here, you know, this is what you call an open crown. Okay. Uh, when you have the, the round, you know, uh, top of the crown like that, you know, there is no dents in it. There's no dents or creases. It's just round like that, like a round, you know, pretty much. You know, either around or it could be square or something, you know. Typically, it's kind of around it off, you know, whatnot, around the edges like that. But that's what you call an open crown, pretty much. Okay. Same thing with that right there. These are some hats that I'm kind of working on, uh, whatnot, uh, to get made. These are uh, some custom hats that I'm working on, whatnot. So that's what you pretty much call like an open crown right there. Okay. It doesn't have any dents or creases in it yet. Okay. That's like your open crown. This has just been blocked. Okay, I already shaped and blocked this. You know what we call blocking, shaping and blocking in the in the hat uh, making uh, business. This is G the Hat Guy. You know, hat connoisseur, hat maker, hat maker, hat retailer. You know, I, I, I kind of do a little bit of everything. So, uh, but yeah, so that's what you call an open crown there. Okay, uh, so let's move on to the next shape here. Right here on this one. Here, this is what you call a, uh, a teardrop top crown. Okay, if you've been watching some of my videos, you probably might be familiar with some of these uh, hat crown shapes already. Okay, because I mentioned, you know, I kind of describe them, mention them in several of my past videos. Okay, again, this is a, a teardrop. You see how that shape there, kind of shaped like a teardrop. Okay, dripping down your eyes, whatnot. Okay, that's what you call a teardrop top. It's got the two pinches in the front, the dents in the front there. That's uh, one of your traditional fedora style uh, crowns is what you're looking at there. All right. And then on this one here, you've got your uh, your open road or your, uh, you've got your cattleman's crease. Okay. Your, your traditional cattleman style crease you see on, on a lot of Western hats, whatnot style hats. Okay. That's what that looks like. That's what you call the cattleman's crease. Uh, there's a, uh, particular manufacturer that ever started to call it open road, you know, whatnot. So, uh, uh, that hat, you know, it's got the traditional cattleman's, uh, crease shape on, on the crown. So that's what this is. That's your traditional cattleman's crease crown. Okay. So let's move on to the next one here. Uh, see what else we have. That's your, this one is your traditional, uh, Humber crown, okay. Your godfather, aka, you know, Humberg the hat. The formal name of the hat is Humberg the Humberg. Okay, it's a formal style hat. Okay, so that's your traditional, it just has a center dent right down the middle, like that, of the open crown. Okay, with the dome, they put a center dent right down the middle. That's what you call your Humberg crown, right there, okay. For your Humberg, aka, also known as the godfather hat, like in the movie, The Godfather. You know, this is the style of the hat that the uh, Italian mob bosses, they like to wear, whatnot. This hat is not for everybody. It's for uh, the bosses, pretty much. When you put on this hat, you feel like a boss. And not, not everybody can pull this off. Uh, only certain shapes and types of heads can pull this off real good. All right. So that's the Humburg style there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, this is uh, one of your popular center dent type crowns. It has a center dent right down the middle. Okay. You see it's got two pinches in the front. It's a fedora style. Okay. For a fedora style hat, center dent right down the middle, two pinches in the front right there. 
All right. And then on something like this, let's see, you have just a center dent. This is an open crown hat that uh, they just put a center dent right down the middle, as you can see here. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have any pinches in the front, so it's not a fedora hat. You know, no pinches in the front, just a center dent, you know, uh, right down the middle is all this has on it here. Okay, very nice, pretty hat. Again, send the dent right down the middle. Okay, no pinches in the front there on that one. Uh, let's see what else I got for you here. Mm, try to get through as many as possible here. Uh, yeah, I think the other one, I've got some uh, visual aids here, so we're going to look at some pictures to kind of show you. Some additional star crowns this one is a diamond top again in some of my previous videos i've already showcased to spoken about the diamond top as well this is what you call a diamond top you see how that shape kind of shaped like the uh uh traditional shape of a diamond that you see you know uh you know in movies and stuff like that to represent what, what a diamond shape looks like you see how we shape you know yeah, uh, it kind of comes off a little bit, maybe like a teardrop, but it's got the straight edges up on the top there. And even towards the bottom, you see the edges are straighter, you know, as opposed to soft, softer curves or whatnot. You know, that'll make it a uh, teardrop, but this is more of a diamond top because it's got the sharp edges there, you know, you see. And you don't see a lot of hats with that with this diamond. Uh, it's, it's one of your uh, rarer, more rare uh crowns but uh it's, it's, it's a very nice uh unique crown most definitely uh yeah there you go uh definitely when you see it, you know that the hat stands out that's a diamond shaped crown right there okay all right so let's keep going here move on to the next one uh i'm gonna use some of my visual aids to try to show you some other because that's a ton of them some other uh, hat crowns Okay, you see something like this here. You know, like these hats here. Okay, you see the crown on these? This is what you call a telescope top. Okay, that's like a telescope crown for those. You see those there? Yeah, that's a telescope. Okay. And then, same thing with these here. These have like the your telescope uh shaped crowns on them. You see that? It's a telescope crowns there. All right. So let's see what else I have here that I would like to share with you. Um, let's see. Uh, mm, again, those are some of your diamond shaped crowns right there. Okay, you see how all the crowns are shaped like a diamond on those two? Yeah, those are the bottom there. Let's see, okay, let me take a look here, see what else. Then mm. you have some of your, your Hamburg style crowns there. Those are the Hamburg uh, stores. You see those there? Mm. Let's see. Yeah, this crown here, that's like your gambler style. Your gambler hat style uh, crown on that one. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, you know, similar to like your Optimo um, style. Yeah, it's, it's very, very similar to an Optimo. Uh, the, but this one's a little bit narrow towards the top of the crown. But that's, that's similar to what you call an Optimo. Uh, optimal crown there. It's not as full. It's not like the same shape all the way down. It's more narrow as you go towards the top, but yeah, this is more of an optimal style uh, crown. It's got that bridge across the top. You see that bridge there? You know, that's that's the optimal signature uh, crown there. Look. And typically you find that optimal on the store, on your summer store uh, hats or whatnot. Again, you know, this is more similar to your gambler style, uh, you know, uh, crown. 
Again, you got some of that Optimo there. It's got that bridge. You see that bridge on that one? You know, slightly there across the top, the middle. You know, see that bridge right there? Yeah, again, that's similar to like your Optimo. That's like that Optimo style crown there. I think for this one here, that's it on that one. Let's see. Let me look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see your pork pie there. These are your pork pie crowns here. Okay. So your pork pie is there. Okay. Yeah, that's your pork pie crowns. See right there. Let's see this. See what else here. Uh, let me kind of show you that's kind of unique. Uh, you've got your your Gus Western style crown. See, that's your, like your Gus what you call Gus, G-U-S, Western uh, crown on that one there, right there. Okay, this is another gambler style. See, that's your, that's your gambler style crown there. Okay, you see that? It's like a gambler hat style crown. Okay. Um, let's see. Again, that's your Gus Western style crown. You know, kind of dips in the front and pops up at the back there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, folks, if you're learning something from the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got great, awesome videos for you. Okay, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, it's G the Hat Guy. You know, um, and uh, also you can follow us on Instagram. It's, uh, you know, at... Uh, at G the Hat Guy on Instagram. Also, you could join our hat uh, hat group on Facebook. It's uh, the Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Again, that's the Hatters H A T T E R S Lounge L O U N G E by G the Hat Guy. Okay, it's a private hat group. We're trying to grow that uh, hat group there. So you can search for that on Facebook and send me a request to join, and I add you to the group. Again, please give the video a thumbs up. Really helps the channel. Uh, grow and uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got great awesome content coming again still working on uh, trying to find some time to bring you some videos uh, Regarding very unique hat related content from across the country for hat travels Okay, so that's still in the works if you've been watching my videos for a while now Like I said, I've spoken about the hat travels coming up So I'm still trying to find some time to get on the road and and go bring you that content. Okay been pretty busy these are some of your, uh, you know, outdoor uh, uh, Western style uh, crowns here. Okay, like your uh, safari, your 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 outdoor Western style crowns. You know, that's what these are here. You know, a a uh, your typical safari is different from this one, but these these are, you know, similar. You know, as well, whatnot uh, for your outdoor uh, outdoor hats. Let's see. Uh, mm, yeah, something like this, similar. You know, like some of your safaris, you know, outdoor style hats on that one. A crown on that. Okay, you've got your derby, your derby crown. You see that? That's the derby crown with the open crown with the curved brims around the edge like that. Yeah, again, you've got your open road. Your open road, you know, crowns right there. All right. You know, again, your hum the Humberg, your Godfather hat I showed you earlier, too. Okay. And this more of your wider brim pork pie style hats. It's more of your wider brim pork pie style, you know, uh, uh, hats there. Let's see. Looking for the unique stuff, you know what? Not that I can show you. The very unique crowns, you know. And when it comes to the uh, to the Western, you know, you have uh, uh, also like your rodeo crown, which is real similar to your Oakland Road, right? You know, you have your 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 rodeo crown is real similar. Uh, it's just not as dip dip 
you know, the dents are similar to, to the to the Cattleman's Crease, you know, hat, uh, but they're not as, uh, you know, they're more kind of squared off. They're not as deep, you know, uh, the outer dents, you know, and, and the, the center dent, they're not as deep, you know, it's the difference between the rodeo and the Cattleman's Crease. And then you've got your brick, your brick crown is kind of squared off as opposed to the softer edges that these have with the Cattleman's Crease. You know the brick is more uh, is more kind of square to the front. Yeah, it has like really square lines all the way through in the front, and the back's kind of squared off like a, you know, uh, like a brick. You know, pretty much. You know, the dents on top. You know, the center dent is kind of shaped. It's kind of shaped like a brick. You know, the same. It's got the same narrow length like that, but it's more. Uh, you know, the, the the dip. It's kind of. It's more kind of boxy looking. You know, it's what that brick looks like. I don't, I don't believe I have. I'll try to see if I have a picture of that in here that I can show you. Let's see. Um, yeah, again, these are some of your, uh, yeah, see, this is similar to like your rodeo, your rodeo style. Again, similar to the open roll, but it's kind of softer. It's not as, as deep. That's like your rodeo style crown there. See, this is like your traditional uh, safari crown, safari hat. See, the traditional safari style. Again, gambler. See that gambler style crown there? That's the gambler store there. And these are a lot of your outdoor style, different outdoor style crowns for how outdoor hats, you know, whatnot. Again, a lot of outdoor stuff crowns right there. Let's see, uh, maybe one that I didn't, that I didn't show you already. Uh, again, let me look here, see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's like your Gus straw. You know, that's like your Gus style uh, crown there. Straw on that one. Let's see what else I got here. Uh, hmm. This one is real similar to like your brick crown. Okay, it's real similar to like your brick uh, crown, you know, on that one. Actually, I'll say that's probably more like a rodeo. It's between like a brick and a rodeo, that one. It looks, yeah, that, that looks like a brick crown, like a brick brick uh, straw crown. You know, the rodeo is a little bit softer. It's not as, uh, it's not as, uh, Sharp, you know, on the dents, on the edges, whatnot. Um, let's see what else I got. A lot of your Western styles, as you can see. Uh, again, that's your Gus. That's your Gus style crown, Western crown. Let's see, uh, it's got your telescope. You know, telescope. It's got the, it's got the uh, pop up in there, around like that. You know, that's your telescope. Similar to a gambler crown. A lot of your outdoor hats again. That's your Gus again. That's another Gus right there. It's got the dip in the front. It comes out on the top in the back there. That's another Gus right there. The Gus Western. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm looking, trying to find some unique stuff that. Uh, You have, I haven't shown you yet. Um, if I can find that's your uh, Cattleman's Crease straws right there. Again, that's the diamond top. See the diamond crown. Which other crowns I have not showed you? I'm trying to see if I can find the brick and uh, uh, what is 
a, yeah, I'll show you some of the rodeo and kind of explain to you what that brick looks like. So this is your, uh, your boulder hat, you know, your boulder hat crown. That's the boulder hat crown, yeah. Okay, and then you have another one called a skimmer, the skimmer hat, similar to this board, it's lighter. This one is made out of a special material, uh, like a like a wheat type, uh, wheat grass type, wheat straw type, wheat straw type material. Uh, you know, and it's laminated. It's almost like two different straws, kind of laminated together. You know, to make that Italian, like an Italian boat crown, uh, uh, boater crown. That's what that is. So it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not really light, okay? Because it's laminated. It's like two straws, heavy, thick straws that kind of laminated together. That's what this is. Your skimmer hat is, is similar to this too, but it's made out of a regular straw. It's much lighter, but the shape, the dome, the shape is this, the flat, round crown top like that's the same as a skimmer hat, a uh, skimmer crown. See, that's another boulder, boulder uh, crown there. See what else uh, I might have for you here. Yeah. Again, we have a Gus. That's the Gus uh, Western store style. Yeah. A lot of other outdoor Western store hats you have there. Another gambler style right there. What else we got? Yeah, again, that's like your rodeo. That's like your rodeo crown. Yeah, you see that? It's not as deep. You know, a rodeo, cadmus crease, and brick, they're really, really similar. The rodeo is really soft. It's not as deep as the cadmus crease. Okay, or the brick. The brick is more kind of boxy. Really is deeper and it's boxier. Okay, uh, and the uh, the cadmus crease is just narrow with soft edges in the front and in the back, uh, you know, but not as soft as this, you know, is, is deeper than the than the rodeo. The rodeo is really, really soft. You see, it's not as deep, you know, the dents, the center dent, you know, the side dents, they're not as, as deep, whatnot. That's like your rodeo crown right there. All right, folks, well. I think that's all I got for you. Again, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, so I, I'm glad I finally got around to it. You know, popped it out. I've been pretty busy, and uh, just then the time just didn't feel right yet. You know, every time I try to attempt to put it together. Again, this is G the Hat Guy. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you learned something about, uh, you know, hat dancing, hat creases from this video. Okay? That's what it's all about. You know, I try to you know, educate and share information, you know, by hats, you know, I don't know everything about hats, but, uh, I do know quite a bit and I try to, sh you know, share what I do know, you know, I'm passionate about hats, all that great stuff. Follow me on Instagram at G the Hat Guy, Facebook group, The Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Send me a request to join the group, private hat groups. You can share your own hat pictures or your hat collection on there. Uh, and then also, uh, if you want to support the channel, it's a small channel we're trying to grow. Uh, again, I'm still trying to find some time for the hat travels. Uh, we have t-shirts available. If you watch some of my other previous videos uh, recently in the last uh, few months, I've got uh, t-shirts on there. I don't have the t-shirts on this video here. The different colors available, let me know. For the Hat Guy Fan Club, they're $29.99 free shipping within the U.S. And I can ship to you. Let me know your, your size in the comment section. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Subscribe to the channel. Okay, I've got more great, awesome content coming your way. Uh, like, share with somebody else who might be interested in this kind of hat content. You know, appreciate it. Thank you. Stay tuned. Salute.